Happy Thursday in our library, and it's time for some more stories. First story is We're Back by Hudson Talbot. We're Back, a dinosaur story. One day, I was be beginning a little afternoon snack and I noticed a small but tasty looking creature approaching me. Hi there, sir, he began. My name is Vorb and I'm a, uh, with Megamind Inc. We're ta market testing a new ultra mega vitamin on your planet. It's called Brain Grain. I would have caught him if he hadn't slowed me or was hadn't showered me with brain grain. Little did I know that my life would never be the same. A weird feeling jolted me and I began to utter strange but somehow meaningful sounds. As I was saying, Vorb panted, we are testing new Mega Mine product and, uh, and for a lucky volunteers, there's an extra spe special bonus prize. I wondered what he meant. Then he added, and free snacks. I said yes. The other folks on board were surprisingly friendly considering my years of terrorizing them. I was amazed at how easy, easily they accepted me. Um, it wasn't long before we became a new us. Together we study geography, math, penmanship, reading, and all sorts of things. Then Vorb one day came in and announced, you, You've passed! Thanks to you all, our research has been a success. And now for your prize. It's a trip to the 20th century where there you'll meet our favorite contact person, Dr. Miriam Bleeb of the Museum of Natural History. And what an adventure awaits you. Just getting to the museum should be a thrill of a lifetime. Thrill of a lifetime, I asked. But before there was time for Vorb to reply, we were suddenly plunging downward in the uh, dark toward the water. We all sat in silence as we putt-putted toward our destiny, wondering what sort of welcome we would receive. Excuse us, sir, we asked the first little creature we saw. Could you tell us how to get to the Museum of Natural History? You're looking for the start of a parade. You just keep heading uptown. Traffic's light because there's a bit because uh, it's a holiday. Great costumes, he said. Costumes? Parade? Well, we didn't want to seem out like out of towners, so we nodded, thanked him, and marched on. We walked and walked until someone waved at us and shouted, Quick! Get in line behind the Wichita Falls marching band! They're about to start! Perhaps this is some kind of welcoming ceremony, we thought. The crowd loved us, but they did call out curious questions such as, where are, your, uh, where are your motors? And how many guys are in there? We simply smiled and waved and acted as if we knew what they were talking about. Suddenly, I caught sight of what I thought was a familiar face. Say, it isn't that old Wargle, I exclaimed. The Allosaurus who used to hang out by the tar pool? Maybe he can tell us where to get a bite around here. Hey there, big fella. Long time no see. Put her there, partner. That was my first mistake. Oh no. Panic struck. Monsters hit Midtown. They didn't understand us. Somehow we found our way to the museum and not the moment too soon. May we come in, I said, as Dr. Bleeb opened the door. Sure, but hurry, replied Dr. Bleeb. 
I have a plan, but we'll have to act quickly. I can't hold them off for long. Now listen carefully. What I want you to act like dinosaurs, that shouldn't be too hard, she said, kneel, uh, kneeling down and baring her teeth. Act like this, and when I say freeze, hold perfectly still. As she got up from her demonstration, we timidly tried to imitate her pose. She hurried toward the door, then turned and yelled, freeze! The door creaked open, and stomp of combat boots echoed throughout the halls. We didn't move a muscle. So you see, officer, I heard Dr. Bleep say, the only beasts we have are these models in our diorama. The creatures you speak of have been extinct for hundreds of millions of years. I don't, I don't know who, who you saw run in here. Perhaps it was a publicity stunt for some movie or the Inquirer. They probably went out this way. Come back and see us again when you have more time. Yes, I'm sure you like dinosaurs. You were only doing your job. I must go now. Goodbye and good luck. Dr. Bleeb, I said, thank you for saving us, but it's too late to get our out of this bonus prize. Not having a good time, she replied. Aren't you just a little curious about this new world? There's so much to learn from each other. If you could stay a while and work with us here at the museum, but I don't have to just but you don't have to decide right now. Why don't you sleep on it and get uh, we've got beds made for you. After we slept settled in, Dr. Bleeb opened a book. Once upon a time, she read, in the early pre pre Paleozoic era, there was a little trilobite who wanted more than anything to walk on land. Go for it, I muttered. We'd, oh, we've come this far away. Why not? How, wouldn't it be amazing if dinosaurs showed up? Our second story today is by Kristen Hall and illustrated by D. DeRosa, Our Tea Party. Our Tea Party. Oh, what fun today will be. We will have a tea party. Here is a cup and a saucer too. Some tea for me. Some tea for you. Here is some honey. Here is a spoon. Our cookies will be ready soon. Some tea and cookies. Join the fun. A tea party for everyone. Wasn't that so cute? I love to have tea parties. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.